All right, let's talk about some health news, a major change to tell you about this morning when it comes to the guidance in the best way to help prevent loss of life from the third most deadly, deadly form of cancer. The U.S. Preventative Services Task Force is now changing recommendations about screening for colorectal cancer. The old guidance, the previous guidance, called for screenings once you hit the magic age of 50. Now they are suggesting anyone over age 45 be screened for colorectal cancer. Joining us now is Dr. Zuri Morell. He's colorectal surgeon at Cedar sinai And we're so glad that we're able to get you to hop on between pickups and drop-offs with the kiddos and before you begin your busy day as yes. a surgeon. I know this yes. is something, look, you, you, this is your field. You, you, this is where you work, you operate, you're, you work in conjunction with American Cancer Society. You've been waiting for this, this lowering of the age range. Well, this is very, very exciting news for multiple reasons. Number one is it brings our guidelines into, into unison with the American Cancer Society's guidelines, the American Society of Colorectal Surgery guideline that screening should start at age 45. It's also very important because now that this task force has issued this, insurance companies will hopefully start to pay for screening of ah. patients at 45. And because that's so important, because that's a big barrier uh, sure sometimes for people to get their colonoscopies is the financial cost. So this hopefully will will push insurance companies to start doing what they should do and pay for these screenings at the age of 45. Really glad to hear this. Now we know that this guidance is specifically important for African Americans. Talk about that. Yes, so African Americans still, we have the highest rate of colorectal cancer in this country and the highest incidence of death of, from colorectal cancer. And so screenings for African Americans have been urged at age 45 um, for about six to seven years. And what people really need to know is that screening means you have no family history, no history of inflammatory bowel disease, no history of polyps. These are people with no symptoms who now can go and get screened. Obviously, if you have symptoms such as a family history of colorectal cancer, a history of polyps, things of that nature, then you need to be evaluated earlier. But this will definitely save lives because it will allow doctors to even push for this test uh, more, rap more rapidly. Great. And we will have confidence to know that hopefully insurance companies will pay for it because that is once again, one of the, one of the largest barriers. Yeah, if you, and if I really you, want to if you don't have insurance, you're, you're gonna think like, I have to put this off. I'm gonna have to wait till the new right. job. I have to wait. And we know that early detection is so key in this with this yes. type of cancer. Yes, and what's really amazing is that the colonoscopy test, and I really want people to understand, is not a test to find cancer. It's the only test that a man or woman can have that actually prevents cancer. I want you to think about that. Okay. My mother, unfortunately, passed away from breast cancer. When a woman has a mammogram, it looks for cancer, but there's nothing you can do about it other than treat the cancer once it's diagnosed. With colorectal cancer and colorectal, all of it starts as a polyp. A yes. polyp is a little growth that's on the inside of the colon that has no symptoms. Right. You take the polyp out while you're doing the colonoscopy, thus preventing colorectal cancer. Yes. This is why it's so, so important. I always share a story because I knew my family history. My mm -hmm. father had a history of polyps. Mm -hmm. I got my colonoscopy at age 42. Yeah. And during that time, a, a polyp was found in me that would have been a cancer if I would have waited till 50 years old. That's what I'm talking about. And so about. this is why it's such an important um, important guideline and it's such an important test to do is because it's preventative in addition to some of the other things we can do to prevent colorectal cancer. I can cancer. see how passionate you are because you this is your own family history. I'll share my own family history. I found out that my birth mother passed away from colorectal cancer. As soon as I found that out I changed how I live. I started getting screenings as well. In fact I'm due for my colonoscopy this I don't mind saying it this fall and I want you to yeah. demystify that and I will do it. it. It isn't an uncomfortable procedure. It's the prep that is a bit much but it's it's all manageable and it's okay baby you can do this yes yes exactly and, a little and bit. when i tell people you have to think so the prep typically the day before you wake up in the morning you just have liquids all day you drink clear liquids all day we give you a solution and there's many different types of solutions and they are better than they used to be however it's a large volume of solution you typically have to drink to be able to clean yourself out so that i can see those polyps and help prevent cancer and the thing is Nobody likes the thought of it, but everybody likes the thought of not only saving their lives, but also, once again, saving their children's life. Absolutely. How does that work? If you have polyps, you tell your children. Yeah. My kids are 12 and 14, and they're so tired of hearing about dad and his polyp, <laughs> but guess what? They're going to get their colonoscopy at the age of probably 40 years old. They sure will. And so that's really the key. If you don't do it for yourself, do it for your family. It's really, uh, I cannot harp on 
after you have your first colonoscopy, you will understand that it is not that big a deal. It's not that it, big it of a really deal. Isn't, it really will save your life. And look, by the way, your friends will try to scare you a little bit about the prep. Yes. It's not that bad. It's just a thing, and no. you'll never feel cleaner again. Let me just tell you, you're exactly. cleaning it so true, this true. guy can do his job. You know what? You put, you bring such smarts to it, such passion, and such humor to it as well. I, I, you're the kind of guy that we want doing this kind of work because you really understand. Oh you have to help people get over that initial hurdle and I appreciate also what you're saying because we had a conversation yesterday about talking to our men folk about making sure they get in there for those screenings and after a certain age we got to do more of these this is part of it yes ma'am so thank you so much and 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 really I have seen younger and younger uh, men come in and I think it's recently because of some of our prominent uh uh, entertainers and actors who passed away at a young age yeah. from colorectal cancer. Yeah. This has been the Bozeman. first year that I've seen people come in, men come in of their own volition, Good not with their them. wives, not with their husbands. Good They're coming them. in because they are concerned and they want to make, you know, help to make sure that they don't get this disease. And that's been very powerful. Dr. Zuri Morrell with Cedar sinai we are so grateful to you for this information and a reminder for any of you that are due for your screenings. We can do it safely now. The pandemic has opened the world a little bit more. Make that appointment with your doctor. And you, get off to do school drop-off. <clears throat> we don't want to make yes, you late. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. You as well. Good to talk to you, Dr. Morrell. Uh, I, I love it. What a, what a great, great bedside manner. You can already tell, Maria.